Domino, I have yes. heard Penn share a few times the story of how you guys met, and he did share it on a podcast called Why Won't You Date Me? But I've never heard your version, and I would love to hear it. Can you okay. tell us your version of how you and Penn met? Um, Penn and I met at a meatball shop. Um, <laughs> really? And then that's nice. it. That's the story. Was it, is it called um, Meatball Shop? Is it yes. that one? Yeah. And a friend of mine who I'd known mm. for many years from a totally different life um, invited me out to have a drink with her when I was still drinking. Mm. And I was like, cool. I had just left the father of my child for the umpteenth time. We had a very back and forth relationship. And literally a month before, I had finally decided that we were not going to be together anymore. And... Um, just was sort of, it was like middle of winter and I remember mm. my friend calling and saying, just come and, you know, you have a, your son wasn't with you, your son's not with you, you have a night off, you know, so, because I was co-parenting, so I'd have these mm. nights off, which were very bittersweet. But, um, so my night off, I went out to the meatball shop, it was really cold, um, and Penn was sitting there at the bar with our mutual friend and um, I was it was nice to meet him but I was really there to see her I didn't know he was going to be there so at first I was a little annoyed you know it was mm. kind of like I thought we were going to have like one on one time and then mm. there's this third wheel um did your friend do it on purpose like did did they intentionally no, put you two together no actually um yeah very much not very much not because I think it, she, I think she got later. in trouble for it later because she's friends with Penn's ex-girlfriend oh. and we ended up together obviously here we are but mm -hmm she was the reason we are here today mm -hmm. and you know she's the one who invited us to the meatball shop so she got in trouble with the girlfriend mm -hmm. uh, ex-girlfriend who had been a friend of hers for a long time uh, so I had a room in my apartment that I would rent out and right away I, Penn was sick he was had a cold he was sort of not in a great place, a little ungrounded, come from traveling and like couch surfing. Between worlds, <laughs> Gossip Girl was over. Mm. I had never seen Gossip Girl, so I had no context for Penn. Mm. I was just like, I don't know who this guy is. But you knew that um, he, who he was. You knew who he was an actor. I, no, I, I knew once I started talking to him, I knew he was an actor. He said, I'm an actor. Got and you. I then, wow. my friend filled me in. I literally had been in a cave raising a mm. kid. So I yeah. wasn't watching television. Mm. That yeah. just wasn't happening. Um, I had heard of Gossip Girl, but I honestly couldn't pick him out of a lineup because it was just like from like billboards or something, right. you know. Mm. Um, and then he told me he was and where he'd been traveling. And then I was like, do you want to move into my house? Wow. And I have a room for rent. And he was like. Because I was couch surfing at the time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he was like, no, um, <laughs> I'm not going to live with you. But I got his number because I was really interested in him living with me. And I thought he was cute. And it yeah. would have been nice to have like a little winter, you know, fling with my mm. roommate. So fun. Yeah. Um, Boundaries. <laughs> none. Zero. Jeez. Grew up with an alcoholic family. So Sorry, no, no, your version of the knows. story is so much better than Ben's. Yeah, is, I know. I'm so glad I asked you. Yeah. Um, so much you. better. It is. So much better. Just, why is it going to have a, why like it to have a value? How, I, it just how. is Ben. I tell my experience of it. And and I uh, okay. mine is more okay. romantic. Okay, 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 keep going. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm a little hard. Isn't mine more romantic? No, keep going, Domino. More things have happened to me. What? So anyway, I keep what? He gives me, I take his number, he gives, um, I text him. Ah, so I think what happened was they, I was like, so do you want the room? Like, it wasn't like, let's hang out. So do you want <laughs> you it? Want like, do you want the room? Wait, sorry, sorry. And then, was he yeah. with this ex-girlfriend at the no, time? No, no, no. Or no, you no, 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 more. no, no, no. It even been a, it it had been a while. No, I do. Yeah. I, th I thought so, but I just wanted someone. to clarify because it, it did sound like that in the story. Yeah, it had been beginning. a minute. Yeah. Um, but I knew of you through through the friend so I sort of knew she, she was like I think he's dating someone and I was like okay cool well maybe he'll rent my room that was sort of how I left the mm. um then the the meat the meatball shop I just so really want to, to keep say, saying wait, meatball asked? shop what is that to say that you asked uh, yeah for sure I'm not going to live with an extremely you know pretty young man and not <laughs> ask <laughs> <Right. laughs> so I um and she was like no I think he's dating I was like oh cool that's fine and for um, the record, I was not. I mean, not okay. at all. I, well, anyway, so I got <laughs> misinformation. But I ended up, um, it had been, a, I think we texted a little, and then it sort of, I could feel that he was like, 
in something. He was always sick too. He was like, I was going through a phase <laughs> where I would always get bronchitis. Sick. For, always I, sick. Yeah, I was always like getting coffee. bronchitis. It was really for gross. Six months. <laughs> for six months, I had bronchitis. Really but of course, gross. like I know because of all bad. of the like, mm. all of the. Um, Half of my belongings were in a trash bag. Actual. Oh my god. Actual pen. trash bag. He was between worlds. I was couch surfing. Yeah. Let's just say um, that. This one and the next. This one okay. and the next. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so, We're gonna make it through. Uh, so what <laughs> happened was, yeah, I sort of lost interest. There was a lot of coughing, a lot of like <laughs> trash bags, um, a lot of mucus. <laughs> Every time Flem. I spoke to him, I was I like, was God, in my twenties, really mucusy in his twenties. <laughs> <laughs> And I just You're felt, painting such a flattering picture. <laughs> okay, so look, look, you were between worlds. You were always ill. I is had it, enough you information. Just, is your nostalgia emphasizing maybe just how <laughs> mucusy I was? <laughs> The, the two descriptors. Are you sure that at the time? Are you sure that at the time no. you really were like, okay, if I was to name six things, like top four, mucusy. <laughs> Is that it one would of them? be like two. <laughs> Number two. What was wow. one? What would be one? Between worlds. A little lost. A little. Where's pretty? Okay, hear me. Pretty's like four. <laughs> four. <laughs> but listen. Okay, what's like, three? I knew Gossip Girl was a, this like, three this girl? insane thing that happened to you, <laughs> and then I heard about like you seeking. Like Fran was like, oh, he's always trapped. Traveling, he's always leaving the country. He's back. He's going to have a glass of wine with me. You know, like we see. So each you guys other. had a whole thing. See, no, no, no. I no. didn't. I did, sorry, I didn't know you were going to be there. But she's like, I see Penn here and there because he's kind of like, bet- he doesn't. Uh. He's he's not on a show right now. He's he's in between. Mm-hmm. And I met you sort of knowing that. And then I but had you, this. You said context is what I'm saying. Yeah, Some well, kind um, of something. Well, I just knew you were. You just gotten. What I knew is that you'd just gotten back from like Colombia. Okay. Or wherever, and that was all I knew. My friend Pan, okay. who just it got home Brazil, from Colombia. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well. You 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 had unreliable information, is all. <laughs> and so what else happened? I'm trying to remember. Um, Sorry, I've so yeah, I you. I was like, why is he so mucusy? Um, <laughs> 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 to Fran, and she was like, well, I don't know. I mean, he's gone through a lot, and I was like, oh well, I know. In Eastern medicine, the lungs are grief. So when you're always ill. Wow. And you're always coughing. Aww. You're grieving. Yeah, and, and I was like, way, has he lost something? Well, he broke. He broke up with it. It was a big breakup. I was like, mm. all right, need 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 to say no more. I'll I'll ask him. You know, if we get there, I will ask him. Would you but, like to ask me now? No, I'm good. I have, now I know. I have the, I, okay. But so, um, you, <laughs> you can see couch asked? surfing. Not that attractive to me at that point, life wise. Um, <laughs> had a kid, my, you know, I had a five, four, and five year old. I just turned five. Mm. And day after, actually. Yeah. Day after we met, the day after his birthday. Aww. So I was I was driving through parts of Brooklyn, and I hadn't spoken to him. We texted a little, then it sort of fell off. And then I texted him because I drove past Penn Street, <laughs> and I thought of him. And I texted mm. him and said, I just drove past Penn Street. Are you around for dinner? And then he came wow. over. And I don't remember how many times before I kissed you, but Aww. I kissed him. With a mouthful I of carrots. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Domino, I did. What, I was genuinely eating baby it? carrots because that <laughs> anyone who has a five-year-old is always eating baby carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's so and sweet. I had a mouthful of carrots and I just was like, I think it had been a ham. Uh, that, that was when I called him and then things, we started linking up yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. But when we did finally kiss, it was with a mouthful of baby carrots. You chose the moment right. Yes. And what, so you switched it from like, you know, Mucusy, lost, gossip girl, pretty boy. To yeah. like, mm, there's potential so like, here. Uh, well, <laughs> we when we first had a meal together, I realized you know he was. I loved. I loved that he was seeking uh, just something in life bigger, higher than him. I he was mm. a, a hardcore meditator. Like he was meditating. Very, you know, hours. twice a day, hours and hours. It's like, oh, this guy's always been leaving this world. <laughs> always trying to leave this world. It's just because he was a preemie when he was born. He See, barely made it to this world. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's true. he barely it's made it here. He's he didn't barely fully in this make body. It, is what we're He's not all the way so many here. Times he died before. all the time. <laughs> Between worlds. Um, yeah. So meditation <sighs> is his like escape hatch. And I was like, this guy meditate. This is a meditator. This is someone who doesn't drink a lot. I had been with addicts, and you know, that's the norm. If you grow up with them, you. Married so this, this mucusy lost mm. pretty boy was uh, was, was not uh, surprisingly addict. grounded compared yes. to that. <laughs> pretty or seeking in. to become more grounded, and that uh, was really attractive yeah. to me as a mm. mother, as a single mother. I was extremely um, interested in someone who, you know, 
who felt secure within themselves and was seeking, you know, to do if, that with someone. If I can add to the legitimacy of this, <laughs> this mucusy thing, I knew this uh, thing that you'd also heard or learned from Eastern medicine, I'd heard it too. I was very much aware of lungs being a signal of grief. And, and the reason that I wasn't just just like doxing my body with... Um, NyQuil? Uh, with, uh, yeah, just with like <laughs> medicine to kill it, mm -hmm. was that I, I, I was really, I was seeking. And I was mm -hmm. like, all right, I want to get down to, mm -hmm. there feels like there's a lot of unexplored stuff that I'm just going to, you know, use the, the and then as you a teacher. Meet and the doula. Yeah. Mm. Pen, I mean, what, I feel what, like I met I met Penn at a point where we both needed grounding in very mm -hmm. different ways. And so we sort of ushered each other into these spaces and um yeah. Mm. Something else you've said that that really stands out to me, Domino, is I think you said once that who you choose, like who you mm -hmm. choose as your partner is a reflection of how you feel about yourself at any given time. And I think that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Pen, yeah. what drew you to Domino? I mean, there was definitely what she, <laughs> what she left out. I think was. Uh, oh, you came to see me sing, and I talked to you about placentas <laughs> right after. Yeah, and you went right, right into well, it. That for, you know, sexy look, bedroom from, talk. From from my perspective, <laughs> we're like, hey. from, from my from my memory, and I may have revised this entirely. Sure, I don't think I have, but you know, I am me. Um, yeah, I remember you being very persistent because, to be honest, I was so aware of the stage I was in that I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not in a place to be dating someone, let alone someone with a child. That that requires yeah. some real showing up and honesty and responsibility. I know I'm capable of it. It's not right now. Mm -hmm. Half of my belongings. Are, I, was, I, I was pretty self aware, yeah. and I really and I I was. I even showed up to that meeting that night, being like, I'm um, I'm gonna dip pretty quickly oh, here because and once I actually found out that our friend had somebody else showing up who was Domino. I, until I learned more about Domino, I was just like, oh, great, great. So she has another friend coming. I can go because I'm not in a place where I want to be. Yeah, be out. Out, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was the middle, middle of winter. I mean, it was such a. Yeah, it was ugh. freezing. Um, and, and yeah, I just remember the, from the first moment I heard Domino's name, to be honest, I was enchanted because it, it, it was just a name. Yeah, you know, it was it's like a such, name. A, such Ooh, a name. It's a name. And I even said the words, I feel like I can fall in love with that person. And that's when our friend started backtracking and being like, She was no, like, no, don't no, do no, that. No, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> no, she's a mom. She has a, she has a kid already. No, so, you know, and mom. I was like, oh, she's a mother. Wow, that's really, cool. that's really <laughs> just like Aww. admirable and like, mm. and like deep. And, and so, you know, I was immediately enchanted, I think, as many people are when they first meet yeah, Domino. Yeah, everyone's but enchanted. I, but I also, Domino. yeah, but I also was just like, all right, I'm not, yeah, I'm just not. Not but pursuing you know what that. it was? You, no, you, you, hear me out. You wanted to, you Listen wanted to, me. to live with me. I love me that you were persistent. Though, no? Listen, <laughs> the persistent thing came from being you like. You wanted to live with me. I mean, you did. I did want to live. I, I needed the roommate. I made that, you know, that's how I made a little. You needed the money. And then you found out. You were like, yeah. Listen, this guy is going to be starring in. in I world did not. And you were like, I'm <laughs> never going to do TV again when I met you. You were pursuing yeah, music that. when I met you. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't thinking about any of what is happening today. It's kind of wild, actually. But, um, Hmm. What was I going to say? So the persistence, I think, came from just like you were constantly pulling back because it was like, oh, mother, kid, ah, I have to have my shit together. And I was just like, just hang out with us. Just be with us. You know, like you don't have to do this perfectly. It's really good not to, you know, mess this up because there's a child involved in theory, sure. But... We were very drawn to each other yeah. very and quickly. And for very re early on. Very early on. You were very interested in birth, maybe because you nearly died at birth. Mm. <laughs> like, you know, you were very interested in, it in what I did. Um, you were also very paternal with with my son. Mm. And, and was, was it, did you, you know, was it really challenging for you? I think step, I think step parenthood is really intense. And it's unique. its own world for it's people its own who don't beast. ever experience it. It really is. Mm. Because you don't have the responsibility of being the bio-parent. You so don't know what your responsibilities are initially, I think is really the thing. Sure. For, and, and, you know, for what it's worth, from the, I, I think for all of the sort of interesting variations along the way, I mean, it was very, very quickly that we were... I mean, there. so the first real... From the moment that we were actually... Any kind of item like that we that we uh, we were we were we were we were we consider ourselves together was a couple weeks later, mm -hmm. and we were um, wow staying with a friend. Where uh, is this in LA? 
Yeah, and with a friend with with a, this actually a married couple of a fr- of, of friends with you, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was me, you, and um, our oldest. <laughs> uh, that married couple we were staying with asked us, I think, that night or the next oh, morning. Yeah. Like, so how long have you guys been together? And we were like, oh, just, we met like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. And they were like, what? <laughs> you seem like you've been together for years. Mm-hmm. And mm. at, at, at that point, that was a positive thing. You yeah. Know? And, then, <laughs> and um, But it wasn't always, I mean, it had us, we were together and then we had a little, we would break up a few times here and there yeah, just because yeah. it was a lot. It was a lot to to be with someone who had a child, I think. For me, it was a lot to be with someone who didn't, uh, no, they wanted that for themselves. And Penn was, God, how old were you then? You were 20... 27 or 28 when we met. Eight. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think, like, the first impression... I think, given that we're married and we're, and we're, and we're happy and we're learning and we, like, you know, we now have, you know, share a child and we're building a home in many ways and thinking about family in this really expansive manner and life. And so let's go ahead and say, like, we're making it work. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's intimidating to be around people who have kids. As I remember, I really have a lot of compassion for that, for those, mm-hmm. for, for us at that age, because I was looking for someone to partner with, but I didn't necessarily need another parent for my son. He, his father is a very um, present father. And mm-hmm. so I didn't have this kid that needed parenting. And I can appreciate now just how uncomfortable and confusing that must be to someone coming into that Mm -hmm. so we had a lot of stops and starts we i wouldn't call them false starts but we definitely well that's what i'm trying to say is that actually for all of our i think what happened along the way is that our the 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 misunderstandings we had in the in the beginning were were largely cultural yeah it was communicative and cultural because Mm -hmm. what i'm saying is the first impression was very quickly we we wanted it all together yeah we did Mm. And and until we felt confident enough to 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 really step into that, there were you know it yeah. was it was a stop and start. 